pleasure to be here today and uh, pleased to speak with all of you today about some cryptocurrency trends in 2022. I'm joined today by uh, a little uh, co-host, uh, so uh, you're with me. So over time in 2022, it should get easier to donate and accept cryptocurrency. Now, this may seem like an obvious truism. However, it's worth keeping in mind that, you know, as it uh, stands right now, that it can still involve setting up a fair number of systems and you know, uh, getting to a platform that, that does allow you to do it smoothly. However, you know, the trend line is that additional platforms are emerging and it's getting easier and easier to both donate and accept uh, cryptocurrency. One thing to keep an eye out for is uh, Twitter Bitcoin tipping. I haven't seen much mention of this and I thought I'd um, share this with all of you. Uh, this is only available via mobile, but if you go to your Twitter account in mobile, and go to edit profile at the very bottom, there should be an option to enable tipping. And if you enable tipping, what that allows you to do is that it will actually pop up a little icon here with the looks like a couple of dollar bills there. And when you click on it, you can input a Bitcoin address. Now, this is important for nonprofits. And if you would like to make it more prominent, I mean, the, the front page of your Twitter account is pretty prominent there. And the other options that are actually also available are Patreon as well as GoFundMe. So this uh, really, really smooth way of enabling cryptocurrency donations as well as other kind of donation mechanisms is available. You can only set this via mobile. This is not available on when you access Twitter via desktop. So just kind of keep that in mind. Now, the reason why I'm pointing this out as well is that for a platform as large as Twitter to specifically call out, hey, we're allowing Bitcoin tipping, that's a pretty big deal. And this is something that will, will make it quite easy for people to find. I did want to touch upon NFTs. NFTs have gotten a lot of attention and you know a, a lot of you know general projects that are going around. But one thing I want to flag is the Immortal Poppy project from the Royal Canadian Legion. Now, uh, this was launched uh, in 2021. And I think that this uh, was uh, a really uh, interesting project in that at last count, they had sold over 50 uh, of these uh, virtual poppies on uh, as NFTs. And I would estimate that the total amount fundraised was, you know, I put it at around $20,000 or so. And this was the first time that I had seen at least the Canadian organization embark upon, you know, charitable NFT fundraising. And the reason why I'm flagging this is that this is an opportunity to really engage with new communities uh, that are quite involved in cryptocurrency and who are interested in, in digital uh, collectibles. And the other uh, area that I'd like to draw attention to, are, um, this is a game called Acid Tea Granny. This is actually a Canadian made uh, game. And this is a game that's played purely on Telegram. So these kind of chat games that are being played by, by young people and you can uh, earn and trade NFTs on these chat channels. And these may provide some really interesting spaces for nonprofits to take a look at, you know, as emerging trends and concepts. And this is a, a screenshot of, you know, what it looks like where, you know, you can uh, actually go fishing and for a ritual fish and, and trade them and swap them. And the thing is, you know, if you look at platforms like Roblox or Fortnite, anyone with people in their lives who play Roblox or Fortnite, you know, know that it is these ecosystems, you know, have a lot of of digital digital assets that are being uh, bought in the exchange and, and traded. So uh, something worth keeping an eye out on. In terms of staying prepared, uh, the Canadian uh, the Bank of Canada uh, does have a contingency plan for central bank digital currency. And this was issued in, this was put out in 2020. And the two considerations that the Bank of Canada has is that they are prepared to move quickly with their contingency plan on one of two conditions. That one, if digital currency becomes more prevalent and or if a one private minute. digital currency threatens the, the, the sovereignty of the, the Canadian dollar. If we had to pose a thought experiment, are we going to see more or less digital currency moving forward? And I would posit that, generally speaking, the trend line is that we will see more digital currency over time. And by exploring digital currency, cryptocurrency as an organization, it's not that you're placing a bet on any specific cryptocurrency, it's that you're preparing your organization for a future in which digital currency is pretty much an in inevitability. So uh, my recommendation is to focus on internal processes for continuous improvement. And if you can establish even a 1% better a kind of mentality within your organization, if you make something 1% better over the course of a year, that is 37 uh, times. 